Hello friends, what's up? I hope everything is quite well. In my today's lesson, I shall explain what is future tense and what is its basic rule and how to write it perfectly. So if you want to know all that matters, then you have to watch my that video completely without skipping anything. But before I'm gonna start my that video, please subscribe my channel by new YD and press the small bell icon button. And if you like my video, give me one valuable like here. And after watching that video, still if you have any confusion, you can write down in the comment box below and share it to all of your friends. That's all about it. Come with me, just have a look see what is it precisely. So mates, at first I shall tell you what is future tense. Future tense literally stands for an action or any short of work which haven't occurred yet. And that work is going to be happening in the near future. Suppose whether I tell you an example like a mother has told her daughter that oh my dear daughter please take your dinner. But that time you are doing something different work. So it was not possible for you to take your dinner. But that reason you have told your mother that I shall take it later. So that is the main thing what I want to say that the action which is your dinner you didn't take that time when your mother had told you but you must be taking it after your walk in the near future it means that you will take it later surely that is the future tense that any action which will happen in the near future so now if you watch that what is its basic rule or how to write it future So there is one basic rule to write it down that future tense correctly. So what is it? In future tense you will get a subject plus will or shall plus root form Of verb. So what we have got here in the tense, future tense, subject, will or shall, root form of verb. What does it mean root form of verb? So that is the form of a verb from where the word has come at first like write, wrote, written. So here write is the root form of that main verb. Write, wrote, written. So there are lots of root form of verb like take, sing, play, something like that. So that is the main rule of future tense subject will or shall root form of verb. Now let me give you one example here. Tom will play. Then I shall drink. Then they will play. So here I have given three examples. First for Tom will play, then I shall drink, and the third one that is they will play. So they are all the perfect example of future tense. What we have got here, that is subject at first as Tom, then will as for that subject. It doesn't mean that your subject either in plural or it's in singular, but still you have to use will. There is no change. And then play, which is the root form of verb. Play, play. So as for that rule of future tense, we have got term as subject, will. As for that subject, we shall use. And then we have got here the root form of verb, play. So it's all same here in the next example. So here we have got in the next example, I as subject. Then shall after my subject which is I and then bring which is the root form of verb bring, sing, something like that. Bring as the root form of verb. 
and that is also same in my third example today as subject after my subject I have used root and then the root from a verb play so that is the main theme of future tense that any action which have occurred yet but it will be happened later and that is going to be happening in the near future so that is the basic rule of future tense but if we think that how to use it in a negative sentence or in a relative sentence how to write it suppose i have written one sentence that is we shall together now how to change it into negative sentence it's very simple write at first subject as we then shall here you have to add not along with that shall we shall not play it together that is the example of negative sentence in future tense. Negative sentence in future tense. But if we change it, that same sentence into interrogative sentence, what will be happen? This word. It's very simple. You have to bring at first shall before we, which is subject. Shall we not. After that, we shall write here, play, then we shall write it, and thereafter we shall write the last word together. But here the most important thing, you have to keep question mark, otherwise it will be not a correct interrogative sentence. So here we have written shall before subject we. Then we have used we after shell, then now play it together. So that is the perfect example of interrogative sentence. Shall we not play it together? That is called an interrogative sentence in future tense. Interrogative sentence. So that is the main part of future tense. How to write it? What is its basic rule? Subject, will, or shall, as per your subject, what you have written in your sentence, and then wrote from a verb regarding play, drink, write, love, something like that. Here. So what we have got in the tense that any kind of action which have happened or which haven't occurred in the present time, but it will be happen or it's going to be happening in the near future. That's for future tense. Any kind of action. Like you didn't play your game cricket or you didn't take your breakfast but you must be taken or you must be played your game later. So that action is going to be happen next or your eating process will be happen next. It means that the process of eating or the process of playing your game or anything else which will be happen in the near future. It depends on your time when you are going to do it. It doesn't mean that you have to do it just now, but you can do it just after some time. That is a perfect example of future tense. So that was the main matter of future tense. That's all about it. I hope you understood what is future tense and how to write it down correctly and what is its basic rule. Here I have tried to dig out each and every word my dad tense future tense along with some simple examples to explain it elaborate. Still if you have any confusion about it you can write down in the comment box below. But before I'm gonna say goodbye and must say you please subscribe my channel find your YD, press the small bell icon button, give your one valuable like here and share it to all of your friends and kids and even in your social media. So that's all for today. I should come again with some new video in my channel. Find your ID. So, Tata, see you again. Bye.